Hey guys, we're still working on some of the hurricane repair uh, docks that were damaged during the hurricane and also finishing up one that we were working on prior to the hurricane. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get those videos and some drone footage filmed real quick and uh, put on uh, YouTube here for you. Hey, if you guys wouldn't mind, if you would, if you got questions for me, please just leave me some comments in the comment box. Uh, my office staff is really overwhelmed with calls continuously for hurricane repairs here in this area and they really have a hard time taking the additional calls and questions off my youtube channel so if you got some questions leave them to me and let's uh, free them up a little bit because they 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 just got a lot going on right now and i appreciate that very much thank you getting the dock put back together all the bolts put in now there's a little challenge with as rough as it is out here today Despite all the waves and the rough uh, weather over here, we got all the under bracing replaced. Working on the last uh, cross brace right now, then we'll get it bolted back up. We got a couple sections up here that are loose too. The uh, two bait stringers actually split and the electrical conduit came out in between them. So we're going to pick those up, replace those stringers. Then we're going to check the dock also because I think a lot of it probably came loose with the bar tendon. We're going to go ahead and hurricane block the whole dock to make sure it's tied down. Wind speeds up to about 18 miles an hour now, and it's getting a little rough out here. Got some good rollers running through here. See how much the barge is going up and down. We got the decking supported with the tractor right now. So when the barge hit the end of the boathouse here, breaking that piling and breaking this piling here, it shoved this whole dock here back towards the shore and it broke all the framing stringers and cross ties on this side. Shattered. So what I'm doing, picking up the um, sections with the track though, you see we've got to hang it right there, putting a new cross tie and framing underneath and, and replacing the uh, stringers that have broken. Then we'll go back with new half inch high tip galvanized bolts and get it all tied back together again. And we don't always get the smooth bays out here. I mean, it's rolling and rocking. Now they said the wind's going to get up to 25 mile an hour gusts later on today. We've got a north front coming in right now. It makes a little fun trying to get everything level with the barge. We're going back doing a little inspecting on this dock here. You can see how these bolts have all pulled loose. Well, we thought they just pulled loose and backed off until we took it apart. Until we took it apart, we found out that the bolt actually sheared off right inside the pilot. So we're going to go back and inspect all these and put some bolts up. What do you think? We've got this dock back together now cross ties replaced underneath this one here. Got the outside stringers replaced. They were all busted up also from what the barge had ran into it. Got some additional decking put down at the end here. Got all new bolts put in. Got the boathouse piling replaced as you can see. Got it bolted up. Got all new bolts installed up there. Had to raise the roof back up probably about three to four inches and sag down. So we picked that back up with the uh, excavator then get the piling installed in there. This section of the front of the uh, bow of the boat, it had lifted up also off the frame. So we uh, pushed that back down with a vibratory plate and put some more stainless steel screws and the stringers into the cross ties to help hold it down a lot better. Got the lower step down completed with the through flow decking. A couple stairs to access it. Retractable ladder installed. A couple stringers on this outside were busted also. We replaced those, took them out and replaced them. A little three foot walkway on the side of the platform for easy access in the boat. Here's a stringer on the side that actually split an electrical conduit that came out between the stringer. We lift that out up, cut all the uh, screws and nails loose from the decking, remove the bolts, installed a new two bait with 20 foot bolt board in its place and got it bolted back up. Hey, I went ahead and got some aerial shots of this project. This is a wooden dock that we built several years back and this thing sustained the hurricane. It's only on six inch pilings, but we got them in the ground pretty deep. You can see the dock still looks uh, fairly straight from all the abuse and wave action that it took and trash just getting piled against it during the hurricane. You can see the end here is where the barge hit it, where all the new sections are, toward the end of the dock off, and we've got that placed. This is a really neat setup. You got a nice step down loading area here for winter low tides. Got mooring pilings on the outside for tying up 
a fish clean table. If you look at the bow of the boat, I've got in there what's called boat stop bumper pilings. You can bring the boat in, keep your boat in gear, hold the boat in place until the lift actually catches a boat so you're not sitting there trying to hold it in place for the straps or for the cradle. We've also decked out on both sides of it, which makes it real easy access for loading the boat uh, on the bow so you're not having to step over the side of the boat into the boat. Once again, you can look at the uh, dock. It has a couple little curves here and there, gives a little character, but all in all, it did really good for the uh, Hurricane uh, Sally that attacked this thing. My electrical crew, Golf Breeze Electric, they do an excellent job. Hey guys, I want to give you a little sneak peek of what's coming up next. This is over on Peaks Point. Had the seawall top cap completely blown off of the top of this uh, seawall here. I got some Hurricane Sally video during the storm that I'll be posting on the next video also. Got James over here cleaning it up. Yes, sir. Getting the old top cap off. Then we'll be uh, going back with some new framing. And we're going to go back with Timber Tech because they've got a gray cap on there now. It really doesn't match anything with the house. The house has got a lot of tans in it. We got a tan through flow on the dock also. So we're gonna go back with a gray timber, or not, I'm sorry. We're gonna go back with a tan timber tech to match everything. Got a couple sets of stairs here that got blown out uh, with the hurricane. You can see the side of this dock here, the two by eights on the sides. This had all kind of trash piled up against the side of this dock during the hurricane. The water was over top of this dock too and they had to get all that picked up. But if you look at this dock, this is another one we built with eight inch pilings, 10 foot in the ground. This thing is still straight as an arrow after taking all that abuse. So if y'all would just keep on uh, watching the videos and I'll keep them posted. If there's any questions you got, just uh, leave them in the comment box and want to get a break, I'll try to get them answered for you. Always appreciate the uh, comments and the positive feedback that I get from a lot of you guys platform out here was a 20 by 20 platform so it took quite a bit of uh, abuse from the storm uh, just a big surface area to hold down so we've gone back in there we've added six additional pilings a whole lot more timbers to uh, beef it up and tried some new hurricane block styles that I'm uh, trying to implement just to try to make our stuff survive just a little bit better than everybody else's does Got two guys in the water out here today drilling bolts. How's the water? Pretty good. Pretty good? With a wetsuit on? Yeah. Not that bad. Going back with 5 8 bolts, double 5 8 bolts, and all of our cross ties. And stainless steel also. You can see this is quite a heavy duty uh, installation now. All right, y'all get out there and vote. Didn't mind the day. In my civic duty. Hopefully we keep this uh, country going in the direction it is. I'm not telling you who to vote for. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for checking out my video. If y'all hadn't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. We got plenty more projects coming up down the road. There's a whole lot of different interesting ones. Some real big retainer walls we're gonna be doing on the on some hillsides and more boardwalks and wetlands and uh, nature walks, I guess you would say, and some boathouses. So if you would uh, stay tuned, we've got plenty more coming up. Thanks a lot for all you subscribers.